Good morning, everybody. That's right. We're going to tap it out. Thank you very much. Very good job. Very nice. Very nice. And thank you so much. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back. The second week back. And we're going to keep it rolling, baby. Good to see everybody here. Let's go right into the car of worship. So I say to you, be glad in God and rejoice. O righteous and shout for joy. All you upright in heart. We rejoice in God and thank God in great humility. God is mighty and gracious in forgiveness. We rejoice in God and thank God in great humility. Let us worship God. Our opening song today would be My Country Tis of Thee, and the lyrics will be in PowerPoint. to each part of this uh, prayer of confession. At the end of each slide, it says, Great God, renew this nation. So please try to say it loud. So let's follow along with the PowerPoint. Eternal God, before you nations rise and fall, help us to repent of our country's wrong and to choose your way of reunion and renewal. Great God, renew this nation. Give us a glimpse of the kingdom you are bringing to earth, where death and violence and hunger will be no more, and where all nations gather in the light of your presence. Great God, renew this nation. Teach us peace, that we may plow up battlefields and pound the weapons into building tools, and learn to talk across old boundaries as brothers and sisters in your love. Great God, renew this nation. Talk sense to us so that we may wisely end all prejudices and may put a stop to injustice and cruelty which divides or wounds the human family. Great God, renew this nation. Draw us together as one people who do your will so that we may be a light to our nation, leading the way to your promised kingdom which is even now coming among us. Great, Great God, renew this nation. Great God, eternal Lord, show us there is no law or liberty apart from you, and let us serve you wholeheartedly as your devoted followers, through Jesus Christ our Lord.
Brothers and sisters, the same is sure and worthy of full acceptance that our Lord Jesus Christ came into the world to rescue sinners like you and me. Friends, believe the good news. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. Amen. verses 8 through 14, and Matthew 11, verses 16 through 19, and then verses 25 through 30. Please listen for the word of God. <clears throat> the Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger, and rich in love. The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all that he has made. Your faithful people extol you. They tell the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might, so that all people may know of your mighty acts and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is trustworthy in all he promises and faithful in all he does. The Lord upholds all who fall and lifts up all who are bowed down. And from Matthew chapter 11, verses 6, and continuing with 25 through 30. To what generation? They are like children sitting in the marketplaces, calling out to others. We played the pipe for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, and you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor Son of man came eating and drinking, and they say, Here is a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is proved right by her deeds. At that time, Jesus said, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for this is what you are pleased to do. All things have been committed to me by my Father. No one knows the Son, and no one knows the Father except the Son and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal Him. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, we have a few children here, so I'll do my, uh, I'll do my children's message again from here. Does everybody know what this is? It's a brick. <laughs> it's hard to see if you're in the back. 
in the cheap seats back there, but yeah, this is a brick. It's a brick. Do you guys think this is heavy? Think the brick can be heavy? No, no. It's a little bit heavy, right? How many bricks do you think you could carry? Five. Five? Anybody think they can carry more than five? Can anybody carry ten? Uh, yeah. Twenty? Fifty? <laughs> well, sometimes Jesus is talking today in the scripture about burdens. And sometimes um, our, the things we're going through, our circumstances in life can feel like burdens. Right now, maybe in the world we're living in right now with all the problems we have and, and having to stay home and, and not being able to go to work, not being able to go to school, not being able to do a lot of fun things. It can feel like we have a lot of these on our shoulders, right? It can feel like a lot of heavy burdens down in our lives. And Jesus talks about this. He says, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, bricks on your shoulders. Come to me. And I Jesus says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for my burden is light. My yoke is easy, my burden is light. And one of the things about a yoke is usually the yoke it was two animals connected to each other, helping each other bear the burden. And what Jesus is telling us is, you're not going to have to carry these bricks by yourself. I'm going to come next to you, and I'm going to help you carry the burden. So it's going to be much lighter than you felt before. And we have the encouragement to take our cares and put them on Jesus, and take his cares upon us, and his yoke upon us. He says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Let's pray. Great God, we thank you for not making our burdens so heavy and for taking the heavy burdens off our shoulders and all the problems we have and the difficulties that we're going through, we and our families. We ask you to give us extra strength, Lord, come on help us to carry the burdens that we're carrying and make them so much lighter in our lives. We pray